This is a tutorial on how to create a photo album using PowerPoint. So the first thing you'll want to do is open up PowerPoint and this also assumes that you've got the photos from the uh, yearbooks copied to the hard drive. In this case I've got uh, we're going to do the 1926 yearbook uh, to give you an idea of how that's done. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to locate the insert tab and then click on the photo album dr drop down. It's this little drop down arrow right here. If you click on that, it'll open up a window and we want to create a new photo album. This window here allows you to select your, your photos, or in this case the pages of the yearbook. So I'm going to click on f the file disk and it happened to open up to my folder. I've got a folder um, labeled uh, Centerville High School Yearbook Project and I've got the 1926 photos in a folder by themselves. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is click on the first page. Notice they're numbered one through however many pages there are. So if I, I left click on the first page, scroll down, press my shift key and click on the last photo, it'll select all of those. So select all of them at once and then I'll click insert. And it, it'll take a little bit for it to, to um, identify these and load them in. So there you have it. There isn't anything else that you've got to change on this page. It should say fit the slide right here. Uh, the theme box should be empty. We don't need to change that at all because we're going to change the background here in just a little bit. Click the create button and now what it's going to do is it's going to create a photo album with one slide, one picture per page. And like I said it's going to take a little bit to do that because in this case there's over a hundred pictures. Now the problem that you'll have uh, to deal with here is the fact that the slides are in the landscape orientation and we want them to be in portraits. So the first thing that you'll do then is go to design and over here to the right there's a slide size uh, option. Click on that and then click on custom slide size and then we're going to click on this uh, we want to make it eight and a half by eleven, and we want to make it portrait. Okay, so that'll give us the right dimension. So I'm just going to click OK, and then you'll get a window here that says Maximize and Ensure Fit. Click on Maximize. So now it blows those pages up to the right size. Or you know you've got a you've got the page of the yearbook fills the screen. So the next thing you want to do is let's format the background, but in order to do that we want to select all the pages so I'm going to cl click over here and then I'm going to do a control A that will select all of the pages of the yearbook we're going to click on format background and the one that I like to use is this gradient fill and what you can do there is you click on gradient fill and then there's some preset gradients here you can you can pick one so I'll just pick this one that's uh, similar to Centerville high school's colors. Now I've got the first photo or the first page selected. This happens to be the cover of the album. We're going to change this and you can make this whatever you want. I'm just going to put Centerville High School Class of 1926. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this at the bottom here. We don't need that. Just uh, if you click on the edge of it and hit the delete key. Okay, so there we've got the the um, front page of the yearbook. Again, you can make this whatever you, ever you want. You could add pictures to this page and, and so on. So that's kind of up to you. What you could do is you could make this page up separately and save it and then each time insert it into the workbook and then just change the date on it. So that's another option. Okay, so the last thing you're going to have to do is sharpen up the images. These images aren't that great, so what you'll want to do is, so in this case, here's the cover of the, the yearbook. I'm going to click on that image. You have to click on it so that you get this format tab right here. Okay. Now you'll click on the format tab and over here there's something called correction. Click on the correction drop down and 
across the top here you have a number of selections. You want to click on the one that's on the far right, okay? And notice when you do that, it'll it'll create a um, um, a sharp, a little bit sharper image, okay? So let's go to one that maybe you can see it a little bit better. Remember, you have to click on the image, okay? Then make sure you're on the Format tab and go over here to Corrections and click on the rightmost, okay? Again, it sharpens it up. Some pictures, you, you some you may not have to. I'm going to go to this one here uh, to show you what it does to a picture. Again, click on the picture, Format, go to Corrections, okay? Again, as you do this, notice how it sharpens these up. And what you'll want to do is go through each page and do the same thing. Okay, now this is a little bit time consuming, but it'll make for a higher quality um, yearbook uh, picture. The last thing you're going to want to do is, is save it. So I'm going to do a file, save as, and when you um, you can use your own filing system. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it back into the the folder. Uh, let's see, that's 1924. I want to go back here to 1926. Uh, you might create a separate folder for these, and I'm just going to call it. Let's see, 1926 CHS. So I'll give it a new file name, and I'll save it. Now you can. You can do part of this at one time. Since it's a PowerPoint file, basically you can save it and open it back up to work on it later. That's really up to up to you. The last thing I'm doing, when you're all done, you're ready to, to save it, you want to save it as a PDF file. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a file, save as. Okay, and I'm going to go back to the 1926 folder. But now what I want to do is I want to change the PowerPoint to PDF. Okay, and the PDF version is the version that we'll use to display for people who want to look at these. Once you select this PDF here, you want to go to Options. And right here, I'm going to click on Frame Slides. And then just click OK. And the name here is fine. You can call them whatever you want. Um, I would use some standard naming technique. And we'll just click Publish. And this will take a little bit of time depending on how fast your computer is. And once, it, once it's done here, it should open up the... Um, so there, it opened it up in the Adobe Acrobat. Now, in order to view these full screen, you can press Control L. And that'll show it full screen. And now we have our yearbook. Again, I didn't go through all of the slides here, so what you'd want to do is to uh, go through all the slides, format the pictures and, and uh, with the corrections, and then save it once you do that. So if you've got any questions, you can let me know.